right guys, so I want to share this with you real quick. Um, I think this could help a lot of people out. So, what this is, is actually called, by a lot of places, um, just filter media, or pool filter media, or pond filter media, even aquarium filter media, but it's not normally sold in the aquarium hobby. Um, in this size or at the prices that I'm finding it for so this one and this one here specifically were bought from a local fish store of mine for $20 each and that's a 50 pound bag so this one here is this and that's the color it is much smaller than uh, than pea gravel probably a quarter of the size of pea gravel I mean just perfect consistency for planting it's not enriched of course it's just an inert pebble but um, it's it's a great size now both of those 20 bucks a piece in my opinion that's still a bit pricey for rock being that you can buy uh, 40 or 50 pound pea pebble bags for about five dollars from Home Depot and Lowe's so what I did is I kept looking now this is from a, uh, a pool supply company and this is a coarse sand. Let me see if I can't open this a little bit more. And this is $14 for 50 pounds. And I wanna try not to spill this everywhere. I wanna show this to you, $14, 50 pounds. Now, it's not really giving me a good focus. So let's move over here to the light and let's get focused. So you see, I'm gonna hold up some of the other, gives you an idea. So this truly is, I mean, that's, that's way thicker than a regular sand. I mean, it's actually coarse, true grains that will still act like sand, but not um, give you the negative side effects of sand such as uh, locking your gases in and not allowing for any air um, or, or anything truly to pass past it so that will allow debris to settle in um, and air and uh, gases to pass much more freely and also all those nooks and crannies that those are the channels that roots follow generally the nooks and crannies or where the roots will try and grow. So having space like this is a much better sand for uh, for growing plants than just a regular even pool filter sand, which this is uh, pool filter sand. But in the pool filter world, it's sold as pea pebbles because that's what they were calling it. And I said, no, I don't want the pea pebble stuff. Um, that's way too big. And they said, nope, that's what this stuff is actually called. That's what they call that. So. You'll have to do some research and looking around. You really have to ask. That was from a small mom and pop pool store. I went to one of the big name brand ones around here, Leslie's. Um, they wouldn't let me see the substrate. They wouldn't bring it out of the back. They said, nope, it's just in the back and it doesn't come out of the bag. I said, okay, thank you very much. Um, Browse the store and then left without buying anything, basically. Um, so that brings me to my next point. So $14, 50 pounds, uh, pool filter store. $20, 50 pounds, local fish store. Now this here, exact same as that, exact same as that. But here's what I did different. Because I have ADD and I just can't stop looking for things, um, I went to my local ag store and it's the same store I bought my chickens from. And it's the same store I get my feed from. I, I try and bring them money because they're a small business, they're close to me, and they're genuinely nice, kind people, which is very important to support those people. And that's why I support a lot of the local and even non-local hobbyists like Lucas or Corey um, and those types of people. So I went to them and I asked if they could get me substrate. And this is what they were able to get me. Now, it took a few weeks for them to get me this, but 
Um, all I did was I literally brought them in a sample of this, just a small Ziploc bag, a few pebbles. I probably bought them about, well, about that much. And, um, took a few weeks, but they sourced it out like they always do for me. They're constantly finding stuff for me. And I want to mention this, the difference between them, a small, which it was D&L Ag Mart in McKinney, Texas, the difference between a small ag store and your big chain ones like Tractor Supply, and every store for that matter, between the family owned and a giant chain store, is a chain store's employees have protocols and rules that they have to follow, and they cannot go above those rules. There's generally a code they have to type in to even override a sale or something in their little register. While your mom and pops have free range of every, they do whatever they want, they price it however they want. If something's damaged, they give it to you for half price. While at a giant chain store, it is what it is. We, we, they can't do anything. So that's generally why I like going to them. I went there and I asked them, do you think you could find me some, some gravel? Because um, they find me a lot of products for my garden. And they said, yeah, we could look into it. It took them a few weeks. I checked in with them, constantly in there talking with them. And, um... Three, here we are, three weeks later, and I mean, this is what they give me. Exact, literally, it's the exact same stuff. Same bag, same everything. Now, the only difference is what I paid for it. So, $20 for 50 pounds. $9.99 for 50 pounds is what I paid for that. After tax, $10.81. And I don't have to drive 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back. That saves me literally at least thirty dollars because I don't have to spend ten ten dollars in gas at least twenty dollars ten dollars in gas there and back in my big truck and then uh, ten dollars in cost. Right, so I just want to mention this real quick for the DIY self finding self locating where you do the work for the substrate. I don't know if you're going to be able to find it if your ag store is going to be able to get it for you if you have an ag store, but I would suggest that you go and try it I find a lot of amazing stuff in my ag stores um, they have fish mocks which is fig, fish amoxicillin which is another antibacterial um, it's like it, it's not the best price but it's better than it's better than going and buying a hundred gallons or treats a hundred gallons API it's a lot cheaper than that you get 30 pills of 500 milligrams each 500 I believe treats either 20 or 30 gallons so you're treating much more for a very similar price it's not bulk but it's still a lot cheaper um, they also had it wasn't tetracycline but it was a silene so it is an, another antibacterial uh, for fish as well for around the same price and you're still treating closer to I want to say a thousand gallons versus a hundred gallons which is what you get from API so the point I want to make from this is try your local ag stores they deal with farmers who farm fish or you know and it's not just like your farmers that are farming fish it's like well I want to stock my my pond with fish I got these fish and they're in one of my big stock tanks that I have because I'm a farmer and I have those and before I put them in my pond I noticed that they didn't look healthy and I want to treat that this is farmers are, are very smart people if you're a farmer out there um, farmers are very smart people. They're day in, day out, working their butts off, um, looking at their, if they have livestock, they're constantly dying. I mean, these people are like, they're practically vets, except they can't do the surgery. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if some did. Um, I mean, but they're constantly, they can look at, you know, one of their livestock, which is a sheep or a cow or whatever, they look at it and they say, man, that guy, he's not acting right. And within a matter of minutes, they're probably diagnosing internal parasites or, oh, he's got a tapeworm or, oh, he's got an eye infection or something's wrong. So farmers are very, uh, they're smart people and they're able to do a lot, especially when it comes to animals. Now, we might not see that because we're looking at pet stores and you go talk to pet smart employees. They don't know anything. Not that they don't know anything. I have pet co-employee friends and some pet smart friends, but um, they don't do it on a day in, day out this is my way of life business it is their kind of way of life but it's not like if I lose this sheep it's gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars or I don't get to eat as much or what I would like 
It's just, it costs them so much more, so they tend to try a whole lot harder, and it's something they've grown up doing. So your ag marts generally are made to serve those types of people. So they're going to have, and now farmers aren't about to go pay, you know, $20 to treat 100 gallons when they have 1,000 gallon stock tanks with, you know, a thousand catfish in them or a thousand crappie or a thousand bass or whatever they want to stock their ponds with. Um, so generally they need to buy much more. So check your local ag marts, support your family owned ones. Um, I've looked at tractor supply, they don't tend to have it. They don't tend to have it. And the thing about it is, like I had said, your, your local ag store is self family owned. They can order stuff and they very, I mean, they, they most likely will. I don't know if you have as good of ones as I do. All, no, I'm gonna say all. Most of mine are very kind. I found one that works with me, that are happy to help me. I go in there and I support them and they give me what I need. So I just wanna add that to you real quick. Shop at your local ag store, see what they can get you. They most likely can get you a lot of cool stuff that is very applicable to our hobby. So just wanna add that in there. something funky.